Hi, James Kendrick here from www.jkontherun.com and today I've got a little video musings from Mobile Tech Manor which is Mobile Tech Manor you see around you this is where I do my thing here for JK on the Run and while ordinarily I would be doing a video geek session chat with my buddy Kevin Tofel from JK on the Run Kevin is busy, hard at work getting the latest Mobile Tech Roundup podcast produced, mixed, and released for your consumption. And we thought that was more important for him to be doing. So decided today to just kind of give you a, an update, catch you up on what I'm currently playing with here at Mobile Tech Manor. Always got cool stuff. No, no question about that. First of all, I'm recording this video using the built-in EyeSight camera on my MacBook Pro, 17-inch MacBook Pro. I had some hardware issues with it recently that I detailed. Um, Apple finally replaced the logic board just to, by way of an update. And knock on wood, that's me knocking on wood. That's my dog reacting to me knocking on wood. I have had no hardware issues since then, so happy ending to that story. So that's what I'm using to record the video. I can't show you because it's the camera. But uh, what am I playing with today? Let's see. Always a bunch of cool stuff here. First of all, I'm going to show you something here. Let me unplug it from the power adapter which is hard to do I'm still having a great time playing with the Lenovo IdeaPad U110 it's a ultra portable laptop computer basically it's uh, it's got two gigabytes of RAM it's got a big fast hard drive I think 160 gigabytes I think it's been a while it's running Vista and you can see the JK on the run desktop that's going. It's got a great screen. 11 inch screen, very small, very light, just barely over two pounds with the extended battery, which is on the back of it, which you can probably see right here. And I'm really in having getting a lot of good use out of this. This is actually not just a fun tool that I'm using, it's actually very productive because it's a very fast computer, 1.6 gigahertz Core 2 Duo processor, and it works very well. Black glossy keyboard and chassis notwithstanding, which doesn't bother me, it bothers some people. A lot of reviewers have had problems with this keyboard, not me. I have entered in probably a quarter million words of text with this thing. So that's the Lenovo IdeaPad. Now I'm also still playing on the mini notebook front since the mini notebooks are so hot right now. I'm still playing with the HP mini note, the 2133. Little 8.9 inch screen, two gigabytes of RAM, 160 gigabyte fast hard drive, 7200 RPM hard drive in this thing. Um, and the really nice keyboard, which I've talked about before, which I really, really enjoy. I get a lot of good use out of this, too, uh, as cheap as it is. It's got the high-res screen, 1280 by 768, which I'll try to get without reflection there. And it's just very, um, it's a very nice unit. Now, I have Windows XP on this, although, as you can sell, see from the desktop, the Zoom desktop theme, which I like for XP, actually makes it look a lot like my, my other Windows Vista equipped uh, laptop. So that's the HP Mini Note. Not much smaller, actually, or bigger than the Lenovo. The difference being about $1,000 in price between, between these two. So, you know, it comes often comes down to money, so you can kind of take it 
with a grain of salt there, but this run the via processor. With XP, it's plenty snappy enough for me. Uh, this is a very great bloggers machine, quite frankly. You can carry this everywhere. I've got the extended battery on the bottom, get about four, four and a half, five hours of battery life out of it. And so that's the HP Mini now. Now, what else am I playing with over here? You have to excuse me because I have stuff all around me. And I'm still, my main workhorse machine is the HP 2710P convertible notebook or tablet PC. This is my main workhorse. I use this thing, as you can see, thin and light. You notice I like thin and light. You see, I like it. And this has uh, a five hour battery in it. And there's a slice battery in my, my bag right now, which fits on the bottom of this adds maybe a quarter inch of thickness to the bottom. It's, it uh, covers the entire butt base, the slice battery does, and adds another five, six hours. So good solid 10 hours between the two. So that's why this is my workhorse, because I don't like taking uh, AC adapters with me when I go in the day. And of course, it is the convertible tablet, so it does this auto rotates around which it's doing now I'm trying to do it where you can see it without the reflection and I just undocked it so as we know with Windows Vista that makes things run a little slower for a few minutes till it catches up but anyway that is the uh, come on get out of there the 2710P from HP and I was happy to report through a meeting I had with HP a couple weeks ago, this unit will be refreshed in September. Yay! Can you say trackpad? I knew you could. So that's the 2710P. What else am I still playing with? Okay, back over here. I got everything docked in it. Stuff. I'm also still happily using the Fujitsu P1620 convertible notebook or tablet PC. This has a touch screen as opposed to the active digitizer of the 2710P. And this is the smallest device I've got right now. It's even smaller than the mini note. The keyboard is a little bit smaller. It's almost too small, but I can still touch type on it. And I've got on the front of it here, this is the extended battery, which gives me about six hours battery life with this thing. And I have a an extra, uh, I was trying to see where it is, extended battery that I carry with me in my bag when I use this for the day, which I do a lot, which is this right here. Most of which fits, as you can see, in the unit itself. It goes in like this. So between the two, I got about 12 hours of battery. And, of course, it also does this, spins around, rotating the screen, see if I can get the reflectivity down from the lighting, and there we go, and that is the Fujitsu P1620, great tablet PC, mobile computer extraordinaire. Now, I'm also playing with, still, and I have been for about a year, I guess playing with it is probably an awful uh, simple way to put it. I'm trying to undock it now, and it's telling me I can't. That's what you're hearing. I think I've inadvertently locked it. That's not cool. I'm not supposed to do that. I'm trying to see how to get it out of the dock here. I want to show you. I honest, I do. All right, here we go. Come on. It doesn't want to come out of the dock. It's stuck. I have it stuck. Oh, there it goes. And that is the Lenovo X61 tablet PC. It's also, guess what, thin and light with a 12-inch screen. Now, unlike the HP 2710P, which is a widescreen 
display. This is not widescreen, it's standard. And it also rotates this way and latches. And it'll switch over here in a minute, auto rotate like they do. And I have on this one the extended battery, which gets me another about five hours of battery life. And again, when I carry this for the day, I always carry a second extended battery, which is pretty big, but it all fits inside the unit, so it's actually not that big. Anyway, that is the Lenovo X61 tablet PC. This will, we recently saw some leaked information on the, I think it was on the ThinkPads forum, that the upcoming model X200 is going to be the refreshed model of this which is coming out later this year and it looks like it's going to be uh, as small or smaller and this is pretty thin and light as well a little heavier than the the HP 2710P but very it's a ThinkPad you know what can you say it's a ThinkPad so that's pretty cool so that is Let's see if I can get it back in the dock here. You hear it go boop boop. Now phone wise, I am still using my Blackberry 8830 from Verizon. I have loaded a nice theme on it as you can see. Uh, this is my lifeline, email, text messaging, of course phone calls. The only thing I wish is it had a camera. So maybe there's a new Blackberry in my future with a camera. Blackberry Bold is coming. So is the Blackberry Thunder, which is all touchscreen. First touchscreen Blackberry. So that's my phone that's coming coming around. Now I'm also back here still using. Whoa. If I don't drop it and break it. The HTC Advantage 7501. I've been using this thing for a year. I, I use this constantly. It goes with me almost everywhere. It's got the nice little clamshell chiclet keys, unlike the new model, the 7510. This model has the accelerometer, so it's actually tilting and auto-rotating the screen. I'm not sure if it'll do that with the keyboard attached, but you can magnetic keyboard, of course, like all of the advantages, and you can... Uh, Oops, pop it out of the thing and actually let me go ahead and I'll just pop it totally out pop it totally out and use it like this this is my ebook reader of choice right now any uh, frequent visitors to Jake and run yes I do still have the Amazon Kindle but I have loaned it to Kevin Tofel who has it and he's been using it for a while now this is my baby I mean, I'm not, I'm not kidding. I absolutely love this device. It's wonderful. I can't say it enough for Mike Kane. It's a great device. So that's pretty much it. Oh, and one more gadget I wanted to show you. I've talked about this recently. And that is the nice little wireless mouse that I picked up recently from... Uh, Kensington. It's the, what's it called? The Slim Blade Wireless Mouse. This is the presenter version. The reason I picked it up is because I, I needed some a mouse that's nice and thin so I can carry it with me. I did not want a Bluetooth because I, since as you can see I switch devices all the time for the day and Bluetooth mice require you with Vista to repair every time you change devices that's a pain so I decided to go with a wireless USB mouse and as you can see it's nice and thin it fits in any pocket in my bag how this works for storing the USB dongle and I'm going to show you this this is cool you slide this out and there's a button on the side over here when you push it maybe should have done this this way. The dongle, which is stored inside, pops out. Look how small this is. 
That's the wireless dongle. And because it's USB dongle, I can just plug it into any one of these devices and it works in all of them, even my Mac, which is pretty cool. And so I can plug it in and use it and off I go. Um, stores back in there. I should have showed you that. There's pop it, it comes out. And when you plug it in, it goes like that. An LED lights up to show you when it's getting low and red or green means it's it's still got plenty of battery. And there's a mode if you if you load up the drivers that comes with this, which I haven't done it quite frankly because I don't need it. Then this also enables a presenter mode, and you can use this as a PowerPoint remote control with these arrow keys on the buttons in that mode it turns off the mouse and lets you advance slides with PowerPoint so kinda cool so anyway that is this and so I'm James Kendrick coming to you from Mobile Tech Manor for JKOnTheRun.com now I, I wanna I've get, been given the opportunity by Microsoft to give something away to some of you viewers and I uh, I'm really surprised I want to thank them for that but uh, this is something that is unexpected and it's worth a lot of money and so what I have to offer up for you for your winning pleasure if you will I have three licenses to give away for you budding developers or actual software developers for Visual Studio Team Suite with MSDN Premium. Now, this is worth, I mean, I, I'm not a developer, so I don't know, but some initial checking that I did, I believe each one of these licenses is worth at least $2,000. This is a lot of money, and it's a lot of tools at your disposal to allow you to get going with Visual Studio and MSD and Premium. And I have three of those to give away. So what I want you to do is email me at jk at jkontherun.com and let me know in your email why you'd like to win it, what kind of software developer you are, what kind of software you hope to develop using these tools and I'm going to after I'm gonna let that run for a few days and then I'm gonna pick three the three that impress me the most and you are gonna win this two thousand dollar plus licensing of uh, Visual Studio Team Suite plus MSDN Premium awesome prize want to thank Microsoft for giving me the opportunity to do that so, get me an email, people. You got a chance to win it. Yes, you do. So, this has been, once again, James Kendrick with jkontherun.com coming to you with musings from Mobile Tech Manor. Hope you've enjoyed it, and we'll be back really, really soon. See you, everybody. Thanks.